Last week, uh, Basil confessed that he was a gobstopper addict, didn't you? I did, yes. You just can't leave gobstoppers alone, can you? No, I can't. I'm afraid not, you. Well, this week I've been trying to persuade him to go to a, to a hypnotist to be cured of his craving. Well, I think it's a load of old codswallop. It's not a load of old codswallop. Huh? Hypnotism can cure all kinds of habits. Really? And it can make people do some very strange things. Yes. Remember that demonstration we saw? Yes. That man who found it impossible to bend over? Yes. He was as stiff as a board? Yes. Well, that was hypnotism. Could have been rheumatism. Now, listen. Listen. A hypnotist could make you believe you were a sword swallower huh? and make you swallow a sword three foot long. Me? Yes, you. <laughs> three feet long. No trouble at all. But I'm only two feet tall. Well, it doesn't matter. He would hypnotize you first and you wouldn't feel a thing in the end. Well, that's just when I would feel it. <laughs> I'm not a dead end kid, you know. I know you're not a dead end kid. Only up this end. Come in. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's plenty of room in there. Huh? Now, look. Keep your eyes on this. Huh? Now, hypnotists often use, they often use a swinging object to put people into a trance to send them to sleep. Ooh, television does that too, you hear? Uh, keep, keep your eyes on this. Now, you may not realize it, Basil, but you are now completely hypnotized. Am I really? <laughs> yes, you are. Cool. It's a job to know when he's under. Now, Basil. You are not Basil Brush. You are a lion. A lion? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not meant to go in there. I'm. I'm twentieth century fox. <laughs> Stop being a lion. You are now an express train thundering through a station. Hey, wait a minute. Why have you stopped? There's a railway strike. <laughs> you are now on a deserted planet, deep in outer space. You must be stark raving bonkers. <laughs> 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 